Fine, we saw how the world is connected. The world is way too big on one side and we saw it's actually also small in a different sense, right? Big in one sense, small in another sense. So what is more important here, this experiment was, let's recollect, so there were two people, anywhere in the world, they are connected by some six legs, right? Six legs. I'm, I'm sure you people now see the point and you sort of appreciate it, but what is more uh, worthy of being appreciated is not the fact that given any two people in the world, they are connected by a mere six links, right? One, two, three, four, five, six links. A more interesting fact is the following. In the Milgram experiment, if you observed, it is actually a search algorithm. It was a search algorithm. Why so? Do you see that a person is holding a letter here and doesn't know who is here and he is supposed to find a path on the friendship graph of the world. Right? There are so many people over here. He needs to find how to get to reach this person here. Right? It is indeed a search algorithm. What is more fascinating, what is more fascinating about the Milgram's experiment is the fact that it's a very collaborative attempt. People use a sort of a very local approach, a local algorithm by a local method, we mean they do not know of the global picture in the graph, right? So, in the huge friendship network, a person here only knows who are his friends, okay? And has no clue of who could be the friends of this destination, destination person, right? He has no clue. This person has no clue. He has only a few friends here. Now, he then very intelligently passes on the letter to someone of his friends, hoping that it will reach the destination and this some one friend sends it to another friend, hoping that it will reach the destination. So, a point to note here is this is indeed a search algorithm. And what is so fascinating about this is that it uses a local method, it doesn't know the entire graph given here. Nobody knows the entire graph. They only know what is one's friends and they just pass on the information to one of his friends. Right? And then surprisingly Milgram notes that it finally reaches the destination. It reaches the destination and the approach is completely completely local. I hope you understand what I mean by the word local. By local I mean a person who has the, uh, let's say the letter right now only thinks about passing it on to the most eligible friend of his, hoping that this chain will continue and finally help the letter reach the destination. It is a very local algorithm. It is indeed very fascinating to see how this works. Imagine there are 6 billion people as I was telling you. The population of the world is more than 6 billion people in this world. And some random person when you take and give a letter to him and ask him to make this um, letter reach, you take a random person and ask him to help this letter reach the destination, the destination, although he has no clue how to do this, he somehow manages to give it the impetus, he gives a push to it and every single person does the same thing, right? Every single person does the same thing and finally it was observed that 
in roughly six hops you reach the destination isn't that uh, sort of misty uh, mystifying that without anybody knowing the entire graph they all are cooperating and helping the letter reach the destination now our question is how does this happen how is it is it even it looks unbelievable does it even happen right so if we were to um, write a computer simulation what would we write what coding would we do to see that this indeed is true do you remember the generative model that we discussed in the previous session the generative model called the watt strogatz generative model right we we showed you how to generate such graphs which have what is called the small world property right it's called the small world property which means any two people are connected by surprisingly less number of links now let us uh, slowly understand how exactly this search algorithm gets executed and how exactly it's so local nobody knows the global picture yet they ensure that within six links the um, the letter reaches the destination so assume let's let's take as an example uh, a real world scenario where this is you okay and this is uh, let's say uh, some some someone in some part of uh, let's say africa and you badly want to contact this person for some business and you have no clue how to contact him again our assumption is we are in the let's say 60s or 70s where there was no internet nowadays it's very easy although the same phenomena happens it's not as difficult as it sounds in this example right if you were to contact someone in africa how would you go about you will ask someone again the same story and ask them to help you with someone who might possibly know this person in africa who might know someone who might know someone in, the, in this place called um, whatever in africa and so on and surprisingly as i have been repeating this helps you reach the destination this way i mean this this is this is um, uh, sort of this has been one of the um, most um, counterintuitive uh, facts in uh, graph theory ever that not only is the world connected look at this first point is not only is the world connected it is surprisingly connected in the sense that in six links we can go reach the destination now how awesome is that and the third and the most fascinating fact is that the search algorithm that people use to go find the destination is a local method by a local method i mean i repeat by a local method i mean nobody has the global picture nobody knows who is friends with whom but they just do their local job all that a person needs to do is to ensure that he sends it to the immediate neighbor and and this every person uh, follows the same protocol and finally it goes and reaches the destination let us now see the how of this algorithm how exactly this works this goes by the name decentralized search and we'll see more of it right now decentralized search so it's it's actually self explanatory as you would have realized centralized means there is a central authority decentralized means there is no central authority still you are able to search 